So credit cards are basically short-term loans, right? Banks pay for your goodies and then you pay them back. So this is my current credit card statement. So as you can see right here, this statement balance is for March 21st, which means I'm paying off things that I bought between February 22nd and this date right here. And my next statement is going to be for purchases made between March 22nd and then April 21st. I had to do the math in my head. <laughs> so you're not paying for the items you bought this month. You're paying for the items you bought last month. The payment due date is the date you want to pay all your purchases by so you don't accrue any interest, which will keep you in the cycle of debt forever. <laughs> that thing that you bought for $50 could end up costing you $150 thanks to interest, which is why it's really important to only use your credit card for things you can currently afford. So to sum it up, we want to pay the statement balance by the due date and we want to pay it in full and on time every time so we can keep our credit high and our interest payments at zero.